Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to click the bell icon to be the only one that will be updated as we upload a new video. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and if you're new to this channel, please support this channel by subscribing. It's Max from the Max Creation. In today's video, we are going to look at what we call employment contracts in Qatar. Most of you, you've heard of what we call employment contracts. Most of you, you've signed papers or contracts. But contrary to what you sign, is most of you, most of you, you just only put on signature, but you don't read what is in the contract. And this is actually very, very, very important as we're dealing with what we call contracts in one way or the other. Remember, as we are being recruited from our own countries or from where countries we are coming from, we are given a copy of contract that we are signed and it's sent back to the company maybe through what you call scanning and online but most of you do not take what you call that initiative to get those code to get part copies of that code of compared core contracts to know what exactly that you sign is it parallelly to what you agree when you from your country to here most of us we take a death here and we definitely don't want to follow up but that is very important because what happens is that after some time it's only the contract that will be need or needed to save you in case you want to go to another job or you definitely you have a query or you have something that is not right with your employer even if when you go to the robber code you will definitely request for that copy of the contract in one way or the other but remember in Qatar we are, as you are coming under what you call work visas we all know I'm not only going to talk about two types of contracts that are normally normal and that is what we call the limited contracts and the unlimited contracts when you talk about what we call the limited contracts we are looking at those contracts so what you call the fixed contracts that are serving a period of two years and remember those con those contracts are uh, become um, bec can be cancelled in case there is no willingness to extend but if you are willing to extend then they will have to renew that contract in one way or the other remember this kind of contract cannot be renewed automatically cannot be renewed automatically meaning that this is for a fixed period of time let's say for example your contract is for two years and definitely you are going to work with that company for two years unless otherwise whereby you 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 put in writing to renew your contract in another year to make it subsequent years that is also very important then we look at another copy of the contract that's what we call unlimited contract and normally unlimited contract in Qatar run for five years and what does it mean that it gives you a scope of for you to prepare yourself to do a lot of work or to do for yourself in other personal way in one way or the other but remember that as you signing these kind of contracts you definitely need to know a lot of things that you need to know what are the clauses that are being signed in the contract what does the contract have and what is included in the contract because it's contrary to what you are supposed to be really and it's quite very 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 important in one way or the other remember you're living in a situation whereby uh, you don't know what actually contains the contract then it will not be partially that what we say so for as much as we've heard we've talked about the types of contract the contract we want to know we want to see what are uh, what should that contract contain uh, if you're going to sign that contract what should be in the contain what are the clauses that should be in that contract one the employment contract must specify the provisions of going the provisions governing working relationship between the two parties and must include the following the contract is only the mutual agreement between you the employer and the employee and it must stipulate a full of list of requirements that your employer must supposed to follow uh, at one way or the other we say one it should include the employer's name and the place of work that is very important in one way or the other then also it should include the workers names qualification and what you call the nationality profession what you call the nationality profession. that's part of another requirement then another one is the date of conclusion of the contract i think that's very important i talked about in p2 whereby these uh, that contract will also have the contract date that when you're going to finish your contract then we say another one is the nature of the work or the place of employment where you'll be working from uh, as part of your address is also very important then another one is date of commencement of work 
that when when or when when that contract is signed i think that's the last date you are supposed to begin working one more day. good enough that we have a, a system that enables us to change from one job another yeah in case you get what we call a job offer then we say another one is that the duration of the contract if it is fixed and what you call the which is fixed or what we call the unlimited contract remember of the fixed car contract uh, what comes with the fixed contract is that for a given period of time then the unlimited contract we are looking at a solution which is a, a hold a hold alarm contract that normally comes in one or the other so i think that is very important in one way so as you're signing up these contracts whatever you may be take a keen close and glaze analysis of the contracts you are signing and what is being stipulated and what is in the close of the contracts as you sign to avoid any question of panic or any kind of trouble in one or the other as you trying to do whatever you do in what we say uh, so remember the types of uh, covid that one also talked about the types of the covid um, and the vaccination period that you have to do at that uh, time thanks so much for coming back to this channel and thanks so much for subscribing see you again in next video it's makes from the next creation as we try to, to discuss more of the travel restrictions some of the very important information in qatar for the safety citizens and the, uh, the people are thanks thank you so much see you again it's makes from the next video